Oh boy. So first of all, just in case you're observant and notice, um, my hands might, I, I don't know how well you can see it on video, but my hands are swollen and I do have hives. I'm okay. This is something I get when I am recovering from sickness and that's why I'm not wearing my ring, um, my wedding ring, because my hands are swollen. Everything's all good. I just, um, when I'm recovering from sickness often and I am recovering from COVID, I tend to get hives. It's really irritating. And now, speaking of COVID, let's talk about January 1st. If you're not interested to hear how January went um, and you just want to skip to February, there's timestamps down below. Um, so, and, and if you're new here, I this is what I talk about. I talk about my life. I talk about development, personal development, witchy development, and just take you along with me in my life. So, oh boy, did I have big plans. And oh boy, has this year so far really been kicking my ass. And I, and like, I know it, it's the 20th as I'm filming this. Not much, like, I know it hasn't been much of the year, but oh, it's been a rough start. Um, so here's like the first spread that I didn't finish. I, I will talk about this more. I am just wanting to show and highlight the chaos because, so here's a daily thing. As you can see, I've done a really great job at not doing the daily thing I wanted to do. That's okay. Um, I switched my teeth tracker to be an executive dysfunction tracker, which is a lot more applicable to my life, so that's good. And here, what I wanted to do, and I still want to do this, just so far it hasn't gone well. What I really wanted to do was have my yearly trackers, and then each quarter I wanted to pick trackers um, of things I wanted to work on for that quarter. This one I pa I picked daily stillness and silence, which hasn't happened. Daily journaling, which I haven't been tracking, and I put my teeth tracker here. So, and then there's my goals. Do you ever just, like, get too ambitious for your own good? Because that happens to me all the time. It's something I, I legit really struggle with in that... I have all these big ideas and I know things I want to do. I am not good at executing habit changing and goal planning and these things yet. I'm just not very good at it. I'm good at getting ideas and sometimes a magical idea happens that just makes it click and then it just works and I don't know how to explain what the difference is. but. Here's my goals page. I talked about this in my 2023 journal setup, which is up to, up above in the cards. I've done very little of the things here. And then my journal has just been a lot of chaos. Um, sky weather check-in. I decided to do something different for that. Uh, my month in tarot, I do still like this, but I haven't been using the tally because I put a tally here. So I tend to mark my cards in a tally here and forget to do the tally here. I'm going to keep trying because I want to see my pulls each month. Um, we shall see. I've been recording what my weekly pulls are. That's good. And I've been recording just other random stuff. So... Family adventures, this is a thing I do with my family to try and get us spending more time together. It has not gone well. And my calendar of remembering is absolutely full of writing because this month, my wife's chronic pain and disability that is as of yet undiagnosed, um, we're on wait lists for that, um, got way worse uh, she had to leave school and we got COVID and now recovering from COVID, I am full of hives. 
So it, it's been a very brutal, brutal, brutal month. And the, did I mention my card of the month was the Three of Swords? Just in case you missed that memo. So this is lot, very full. I missed a whole bunch. So here, my daily log went from the 12th to the 25th. Same here. Um, this is my gratitude victories. Sorry, and Cameron. There's just a whole bunch of emptiness. Um, Self-Worth Path Book Club, because I'm one of Lisa's Badass Unicorns. This was great. It just so happened that, like, I didn't feel the need to write notes from, from reading. And then I started doing daily, my, my log as, like, two days per page. Um, split the page long ways in half. And then at the end of the day or the beginning of the next day, I write about my day like a diary entry. I really love this. I'm going to keep doing that. I just haven't been journaling a lot because the week, the month has just been so shitty. And so I don't feel like journaling when things are shitty. My first weekly. There's a lot of scribbles. There's a lot of things that I started that I did not finish, uh, like this. There's a lot of emptiness. And so it, it, it was hard for me to get into the mindset of like, oh my god, we're starting a new month what the hell happened. This I did on the live with y'all, except this part, this I did later. I love how this looks. It's been really hard, and then here we are. So for the time being, um, I've been just doing my dailies as many as I can fit on the page, because I haven't really felt like journaling much yet. Um, and, and here we are. So, it was really hard for me to wrap my head around setting up February when it it's like January just like evaporated into the air. I don't know where it went. Um, one thing I did know was that I have really loved in my journaling recently, and I think it even started in my last journal which is right here, I have really loved just doing what I want in my journal when I want to. If you heard that, that was like ice falling outside or something. I really loved the freedom I felt within my journal to just explore and have fun. And except for some basic stuff, I have found that very recently my motivation is fleeting, as is my executive function, which would be why I have an executive dysfunction tracker. Um, so just like big tarot spreads. I kind of have to do things all at once or there's a high likelihood I won't come back and finish them. Now this does present a problem with um, with like goal planning. Uh, except with goal planning it's like the things that I I want to get done um, that aren't like the fun, inspirational things. Those, my issue is getting the motivation to get them done. I always want them to be done from start to finish, but getting the motivation to do those things is a lot harder. Whereas with like the tarot and the creative stuff, I really, I get excited and motivated and I'm like, yes, let me do this. And then I tend to run out of steam sometimes. Like... The Omen Days, which I talked about, which now is just a bunch of empty pages, which I still 
don't know if or how I'm going to use them. Um, but in the course of the years of my journals, I used to do a lot more just flip the page and do what I want to do when I want to do it. And then somehow I got more rigid with it. So what I want to do with my journal, um, because my, my journal serves two functions for me uh, that I can identify at this point. One, it's a creative outlet. It's a place for me to pour my heart and soul into. Um, two, it, it's my journal, so maybe it's more than two. I like to... I like to pour my heart and soul onto the page, as I just said, not just to be creative, but to help me think. And that's really the second function that my brain, my journal helps me think. It helps me process. By, I do the dailies. I, I always do the dailies because when I don't do the dailies, the next day I feel scattered. I feel confused. I feel a mess. I don't know what's going on. Um... When I'm feeling overwhelmed, I like to journal because it helps me figure out why I'm overwhelmed. Um, writing on paper helps my brain. It helps me remember things. It helps me process. Um, <coughs> um, so that's really the two functions. It it it. Uh, serves and then there's also the function of like I can look back on these I love revisiting my old journals I do it regularly so I can look back at these and find connections that I didn't have before so I decided when it came to setting up let, let's look at this as an example the sky weather check-in and the same here I did I did this twice. Here's the winter sky weather. And I finished and I did up to this point and I thought, okay, at some point I'll come back to it later and I'll journal about it. But the motivation had stopped. It went away and it never came back. Same with the sky weather check-in for January here. I set this up. And I started and I thought, I'll come back in later. And it never came back. So I knew pretty early on when it came to stuff like this, the solution would be to just do them when I want to. And so I did that in part of my February predictions. In my February predictions this time, I had my my card pulls, which I talked about in my Let's Talk Year Ahead spread videos, which is linked up above in the cards. This is also professional work I offer I'm a professional tarot reader and astrologer, and I combine the two to make really unique reading experiences, like with my year ahead spread. You can check out my website in the description box below. So I, I wrote down the cards, and then I decided to combine that, the predictions I do, to include my sky weather. So... I didn't do a lot of like sky weather stuff, but I did include here, you'll see, um, the little like graph. So I had this here. This is a thing I do where every month I evaluate the area of my life based on the astrology. We are in Aquarius season. For me, as a Cancer rising, Aquarius is my 8th house, and the 8th house topics are grief and others' resources, and like death and debt and stuff like that. So I'm evaluating how I feel about that part of my life. I decided to include that here. I decided to note the moons. And ba basically, my February predictions, what I did was I put all the things I could think of that I wanted to keep in mind as I was thinking about how I wanted to move forward into February. So I have some tarot cards. I have noted when the full moon, my moon return, and the new moon is. I have how I feel about the eighth house. I wrote a little affirmation based on the cards I pulled. I did some interpretations. And I ended up wanting to really pull in this card 
this is my grandmother card for my current moon return cycle. Um, I pull one on the new moon. I think I talked about this in my tarot cycles video, which I'll link up above in the cards. Um, this has come with some significant messages and I really wanted to work with those messages. So I wanted to include, and it's about like creating magic in my life and how I approach magic in my worldview. So I really wanted to include this. And then I did some journaling about how I was feeling stuck and I still was feeling stuck until I realized all I want to do for February is in, at least in my journal is focus on this. And so that is what I did. I left a couple pages because I need to do a new weekly and there's a couple more days left. And here is my February title page. I just wanted, I just wanted this. I wanted to carry the message I got from the grandmother star uh, with me. So, so I just focused on doing the designs of the flowing, like the Northern lights, some stars. I wrote February sovereign, which is my word of the year. And then I wrote the little, um, haiku from the card, which is how to cast a spell, dream, believe, imagine, ask, open the pathways. And by the way, that's my grandmother card from, it's from the songs of the grandmother's Oracle by Kara, Kara. If I mispronounce it, I'm really sorry. Uh, Simmons or Simons. I'm sorry. So that is what I did there for the title. Then we have my calendar of remembering, which I have every month. Um, it's just a place for me to record all the things I need to remember to, so I can see when, when did this last happen? We have my family adventures page. We haven't set it up yet, but there's enough space for 28 different things. There's enough that we can do one every day, but that's never like we never pressure ourselves to. And what we do with this is every month I sit down with my wife and our son and we take turns picking a thing, a fun thing we want to do together as a family. Um, so we've got that. I've got my month in tarot spread. It has not changed yet. I don't know what's going to happen with the tally marking because like I said, I've been forgetting and I've just been recording the tally marks here in the front. Um, but I'm going to give it another try because I want to be able to see monthly. And then I have this space. This is one of the things I come back. It's like if I want to record random tarot things then I'll come back and I'll write them down here. Then I just have my a place to write a gratitude every day, a place to write a victory every day. This is in the vein of like celebrating even the small things in life. Place to write something with from memorable with my wife and with my son. And that is it. I'm on page 78 now. Um, and... I'm just kind of wanting to go into the month I guess open everything feels very confusing and I don't really know I guess I feel a little lost for direction and a little lost for knowing myself even though I've been working very hard to understand myself and I've, I've learned a lot um, I really want to just get to know myself more this year and to work with myself and to help myself and to journal and to to do more things um so I like that I'm just leaving this open. I do still use this for dailies and I do still like to do a weekly. Basically, I use my journal for fun and for creativity and for exploring things. And then I also use it for um, just kind of resetting my brain 
so I know where I am going forward with like my dailies and my weeklies. So every week I come in and I set up my weekly and it helps me know going into the week what's going on. And then every night I set up my daily and it helps me know going into the next day what's going on. And by doing that, it helps me remember easier. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really all there is to it. It's, it's super simple. It's, it's not the most fancy. It's not necessarily the most exciting, but it's mine. And for now, it is what it is. And this is where I'm going to leave it for today. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you can come on back nice and easily. Uh, in the description box below, as I mentioned, you can find my website. Because like I said, I'm a professional tarot reader and astrologer and I specialize in combining the two to make really unique reading services. And that's where you can check them out. If you have any questions about the type of work I do or like video requests for me, you can reach out to me. My email is in the description box as well. And there is the link to check out my channel membership. I have lots of channel membership stuff. I basically have a tier for all the main things I do, tarot journaling and astrology and witchy stuff. Um, so I hope you will check some of that out. I hope y'all are having a better start to the year than I am. Mercury is no longer retrograde. Mars is no longer retrograde. Things are slowly going to be speeding up. Thank fuck. I can't wait to feel better. <laughs> a huge, huge shout out of thanks to my channel members. Without them, I could not be here still doing what I do. So huge thank you for your support. It means the world to me and I love you all so much. And a big thank you to everyone who commented on my community post about being sick and, and wished me well. Huge thanks. I love you all. I'm going to let you go here and I'll see you again very soon. Lots of love. Bye.